his name is actually Vape Lord. Uh, shit. Previously on Last Stop. I know about your predicament. Come see me, the Vape Lord. Frank has been searching everywhere for you. The guy that cursed you on the tube platform a couple of weeks ago? He did this! I'm gonna need a little bit of time to prepare. Write your number down and I'll give you a buzz. Jack's leaving us. Now that you're sorted with your job and everything, I figured this would be a good time for me to move on. Molly is gonna end up in foster care if you go. <laughs> Dad! And we're back. I'd say there are like seven chapters in this game. I don't know. I think we should be getting to the res... I don't know. I actually don't know. One or two more chapters? I think two more chapters. If I had to bet seven or eight chapters. Because every chapter is not Hello. that long. You came in with Mr. Smith, is that right? Your family? Yeah. Where's Jack? I want to see him. Uh, yeah, he's a neighbor. He's our neighbor. Do you know how we can contact his next of kin? I'm afraid the situation's oh. serious. We're his family. Shit. Well, how serious? He survived one of these before, you know. If we could get in touch with his family urgently, that would be best. Oh, shit. We're doing everything we can for him. But it's too early to say whether he'll make it through the night. No! Thank you. I'll let him know. <laughs> That's get your body. Just going to die. Get your body switch, and then your old body dies, and you keep the you the young one. We don't know that. The song that's it's playing is the he's piano only sick song. Because he's in your body, we shouldn't have made you eat all those chicken dippers. This is not your fault, Molly. If it's anyone's, it's mine. I don't want Jack to die. I like him, and if he does, they'll take me away, won't they? Well. Technically, I could adopt you in this new body or work something out. Hey, let's just wait and see what happens. Can you... Molly. This. Can you do it with only one, though? Can only I'm one of you go? Jack. Don't you need both bodies there to do the transfer, or...? I just need to pop downstairs for a minute. Can you look after my daughter while I'm gone, please? Sure. I'll keep an eye on her. It's Chaz. Leave a message. Chaz, it's Jack. Listen, John's in hospital. I need you to come over when you get this, please. The nurse will explain everything. Thanks, Chaz. You've been a good friend. This is where Mina's dad lives. All right, Vape Lord. Is he gonna ask, where's the other one? You're cutting it fine. Thought you were a no-show. Uh, I haven't got much time. Are we going or what? Come on, this way. You know, there's a lot of history in this little vape shop. It's been in the family for years. Yeah, we've sold all sorts here. Before e-liquids took off, we were a laundrette. Cobble shoes. Sold dirty magazines, anything really. 
Technically, Frank owns the place, but he's never here. He said he was doing me a favour, you know, letting me run the place and all, but I think he just doesn't like the smell of the stuff. So the stranger's name it's is weird, Frank. Isn't it? Well, some people don't like the smell of things. Me, I bloody love the smell. It'd be actually sad if he returns to his body just to die or something like that. I wonder if they're gonna give me, like, some major choice at the end or something, because I don't think any choice I've made at this storyline has affected anything up to this point. Maybe to keep the body? Like, if I had to guess what, to keep the body, stay as Jack, or go back to my body and die? Knowing that you're gonna die, I don't know. What the heck is this place? That'd be a tough choice, actually. So I feel like I haven't properly explained this. Are you okay traveling to the other side of the galaxy? Uh, yeah. What the heck is this? It's the portal. You want to see Frank? This is the only way. The portal to where? This is mad. Look, we don't have time. It won't wait for you. I thought you were up for this. Okay. Okay, all right. What do I do? Now, it's very important. Here are your travel tokens. One for getting in, one for getting out. Do not lose them, okay? You won't get back otherwise. Now, when you arrive, you're going to want to try and find Frank's shop. You'll know who you are. Okay, thank you. By the way, what's your name? I already told you. It's Fake Lord. Get going. Okay. <laughs> His name's actually Vape Lord. Uh, shit. Well, that was a short chapter. That wasn't even like like seven minutes only. Jesus. So we finally encountered the portal again. The portal that the stranger took, and who else was with, was with the stranger? Sam. Yeah, the girl in the intro, Sam and Peter. Sam went through, but Peter never went through, so he's with her, wherever the hell that leads. Alright, we're finally getting some answers. Maybe there aren't. Previously, Maybe there's like two chapters more. This is your final chance. I didn't send the damn note. Stay away from my dad, he doesn't need you. What the hell's happened here? Had a break in. Have you been speaking to Spider? Come to a term of driving license. That blackmail note was obviously you as well, wasn't it? If you're being blackmailed, I ain't the one doing the blackmailing. Put the gun down, drop it now. Amy? Crap, this really hurts. Nah. You're the one who sent me that note. Just left her to die. I mean, I don't consider her that bad. Like I said last episode, she kind of did try to save us when Spider pulled out the gun. Like, if she just really wanted the job, she just would have let us die there. Or, like, in her mind, she would see us in danger, so she would be happy that someone was going to point a gun at us and probably get her competition out of the way. So why would she try to rescue her? So it's like, eh... Like, she's, like, half evil, half, you know, kind of a good person. I don't know. Still kind of evil for spying on me and trying to blackmail me, trying to get me nervous. But also, when push, when push came to shove, she kind of jumped in to try to save us. Maybe she had other intentions for that. I don't know. Gonna apologize to Felix? Oh, no, this is my house. Thought she was going to Felix's house for a second. Miss Amy, uh... Oh, no, wait, we're going to her house. I'm sorry, right. It ended that we got the keys to her house. Or, no, she told us where her house is at. And we wanted to get any evidence she had of us. That was it. Okay, I remember. It's been a day, guys. I forget. Uh, Come on, Amy. What have you got on me? Oh, first person view. All right, what do we have here? What do we have? What do we have here? Nothing there. Nothing there. 
What room is this? Her daughter's room? Does she have a daughter? Just flowers. Uh, open, open. Makeup. Give me something, come on. Cigarettes, aging glasses, camera. Ah! Uh. Uh, How did she get this? Read. Okay, there's a lot of information. Let's see. Uh, dear General Connor, writing to confirm Sergeant Mayor will be seeking early retirement from the British Armed Forces on medical grounds. She will be ending her service. Like immediately, your staff will be notified. The her time in the British Army has got to accept the finest traditions of service. I'll doubt exemplary role model future servicemen. Uh, around eight years, she was sole survivor. Um, well, how's an extremely challenging mission? Recovery of hostages, I believe, compound. Uh, okay, so yeah, all of her squad got eliminated. She saved a bunch of hostages. That's why she's such a decorated soldier. Uh, Missouri defense. Uh, Okay, they weren't happy with it. According to the report, in a space of 40 minutes, which was meant to be a covert reconnaissance mission to assess the status of the mission, uh, resu uh, resulted in the effective loss of SAA squadron, the loss of the entire U.S. Navy SEAL team, and as of yet, I an identified number of Afghan civilians killed or wounded, all because of Patel's reckless decision to deviate from orders and proceed with a rescue. So while this guy is saying, oh yeah, she's amazing, these guys are saying, eh, you know, she survived, which was impressive, but her reckless nature actually cost the lives of a lot of people. Heads ruffles, I'll be down by one day as I see about this career's finish. We have to spend this. Of course, I don't want the media getting whatever the cockroaches have been. As far as our messaging is going, Patel, Patel saved the day. As far as our messaging is concerned, Patel saved the day, but I want her as far from public scrutiny and the British Armed Forces as can be arranged. Oh, shit. Wow. Um, that's a key. That's a key. I mean, I'm pretty sure I know what the key is for. The key is definitely for the locked door. It was this door, right? Yeah. What the? Nah, she was really studying me, huh? Yeah, drug dealer. Wait, 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 was that Jack? That was Jack, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure that was Jack. Wait, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Alright, what do we have? We have Mina Hughes, age 42, advanced dynamics, level 4 clearance. Uh, Felix, early 40s, uh, affair, split up. Spider, keep stash at Dingle Tower. Mina, soliciting, <laughs> soliciting drugs. Salamir, Samir Patel, father mid 70s, taking hallucinogens. Former activist, Marxist, dislike for Molina's military career. Jack Smith. This is Jack Smith, though. Jack Smith, age 22nd, acting suspicious. Mole? Dylan Hughes, Cherry Tree Primary School. Blade Hughes. Hmm. Well, she's on to them, too. Huh. The students are not here, though. Only Jack Smith. That's weird. Uh, there was a laptop there. I don't see anything else, so... 
Alright, things are getting interesting. Oh, damn it. Need a password. Maybe there's one lying about. Oh, sure. I love how video games always do this. <laughs> there's always a challenge to find someone's laptop password. And, you know, realistically, like, guessing a person's laptop password would be extremely hard. She tapped my phone. These go way back. Mr. Miss Coffelis, 1992. Read. Mrs. Hugh, thank you for bringing Dylan in today, and your affection appears to be blah, 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 blah. Yep. Well, got it. Tapping my phone, keeping track of everything I do. Okay, maybe this... Is she really... Okay. My question is, is she really doing that just because she wanted the position? Was she spying on me just because she wanted an edge job and wanted the position? Or did the company actually hire her to spy on me? Is this like... I feel like the company's testing her or something. It's either two things. I feel like this goes a bit too far just for a dumb position. I feel like maybe the company had her in on it and all this was a test or something. To see her potential, or I don't know, some bullshit. Uh, read. Mm, from Hale, Peter, to Amy, and G. Get it done, Hale. Get it done, Hale. Uh, sir, with respect, I'm starting to have serious reservations about this assignment. Oh, yep, here it, here it is. When you asked me to investigate Hughes, I was appreciative of the trust you placed in me. However, the deeper I dig, the harder it is for me to understand your interest in her. The Mina Hughes I read about at Sandburst appears to be an I idealistic fabrication. In reality, she's ruthless, she's ruth she's ruthlessly self-absorbed, ill-disciplined, and engaged in numerous questionable activities, many of which pose a security risk. She clearly doesn't have Q3D's best interests at heart. Sir, can I suggest we pause my surveillance here? Surely there's a nothing further to be learned. The case against her seems open and shut. If this assignment has been a test of my loyalty to you and the organization, I hope I've demonstrated both. Obviously, I want uh, I want to do whatever it is for the good of the company. I feel like my skills could be put to better use. Yeah, okay, yeah. So this wasn't for the position. The company's actually... The company was actually surveying her. Yeah, this... Okay, so it's basically what I said. Give me that. That son of a bitch! You've been playing me, you son of a bitch! All right, Hughes. Take a breather. Not until you explain what the hell you've been up to! Okay, you got me. Now settle down. Amy's dead. So is a kid. You're not here because you're upset about that, and we both know it. <laughs> upset? Are you kidding me? Was this all a big joke? Why have you been messing with me? Because you got sloppy. You let Amy get to you. Your house isn't in order and you failed your psych exam. You know how many advisors told me to cut you loose? She's a has-been. Washed up. But they don't know what you're capable of, do they? Operation Bloodhound? You just need the right conditions. And so here we are. Wouldn't it just have been easier to hire someone else? Perhaps. But I've always been a little sentimental. Find someone else. Pete. The portal's open. What? It's true. It kicked into gear about 25 minutes ago. We're not sure how long it will be stable, but we're good to go. We just need a candidate. Come on, Hughes. This is it. The big one. Don't you want to know what's on the other side? Ah. Uh, yep, I, I said it. I said it. I, I knew that her company was involved with that. I've been waiting up. Where the hell are you? Dan, listen, I don't have much time. I need to talk to you about something. What do you mean? Are you, are you okay? 
You can hate me for this, but I need to leave for a bit. What are you talking about? It's work. D just come home and we'll discuss it, okay? I wish I could. I wish I didn't have to tell you like this over the phone, but I have to go now. There's been no time to prepare. Are you serious? You're working in the field again, aren't you? Is that what you've been doing all these evenings? Getting prepared? Hiding it from me? I can't believe you. Yeah, that's basically it. How can you do this to us? How can you be so selfish? Selfish? I did everything you asked of me. I gave up everything. My life. My reputation. You think I like what I've become? I can't stand it anymore. Oh, so now it's my fault. What about me? What about Dylan? When does he come into this? I don't know, Dan. I just need to do this, okay? We can talk about this when I get back. And when will that be? Right? You, you can't tell me, right? Could be any time. Could be never. I've had enough, Mina. I'm sick of it. I've bent over backwards trying to keep this family together with all your late nights and your weekends, but what can I do with this? I mean, do you think I'm a mug? No, Dan. I'm serious. Am I a mug? Maybe I am. If you go tonight, I don't want you coming back here. You don't mean that. Look, I have to go. They're relying on me. Well, I hope it's all worth it. Because you have destroyed this family! And there it is. That should have been a choice. That, that really should have been a choice. Like, I don't know, go or stay. Which, by the way, adds a little pressure to you, because you know that the other character, that Jack, well, John, is technically on the other side of that portal, and you just saw him lose a coin. So he might be stuck there, which means that the way he probably gets back out is because Mina is now going through the portal. So that would add actu that would actually add extra pressure to the player to wanting to have to go, or sacrificing her family. See that 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 would have been a good choice right there. Just weave it into the story, but kind of forced to do it. Just forced to go. Not really a play. Not really a choice. I I'm still waiting to see. Like. I this game has to have multiple endings, so, like, I want to know, like, what specifically is affecting the the final outcome of the story. Is it really just going to be in, like, in the last chapter, like, pick ending A or B or something like that? Because I don't know, unless maybe the way I've been answering everything is secretly moving a bar, you know, left or right, and then that affects the ending. Maybe it is that. Those are usually the, the hardest type of decision gate you know, base games to, like, to honestly feel like you're making an impact. Like, Life is Strange 2 does that, you know, affecting Daniel's character and uh, Catherine, you know, the dating sim game, that one that came out a couple years ago, also does that. It's a secret meter moving left to right always. Even though the game doesn't change, the meter ultimately affects your ending, unless it's something like that. Yeah, we're going through the portal and the chapter's gonna end. Are we all- I, I think this chapter's gonna end the same for everyone. I need you on this. I read the brief. An extraction mission. How do you even know she's alive? Oh. Oh, wait, is that the same- Oh! Because she has to be. Wait, I just got it. I just got it. He's Peter, the, the Peter from the intro. It has been 38 years. You fought her. Those are your orders. And if I don't return? I'll honor our arrangement. Your family will be looked after. If it comes to that, just do one thing for me. Just um, tell Dan I'm... Just make sure they're compensated, okay? Don't forget. We're making history here, Mina. If this transition works, who knows what we'll have access to? Resources, technology, culture? The extraction mission is just the first phase. This is the next frontier, right here. 
I just no, noticed. That's Peter. I, I didn't... I didn't... Glue one and one together. I didn't put one and one together. And I've been saying their names all, like, Peter and Sam. Like, he's after Sam, his friend that disappeared 38 years ago. Uh, Alright, coming together. Yeah, so Donna's Donna's chapter is definitely ending with her going through the portal also. Monitor's set to record. Readings are nominal. Environment at the horizon reads steady. Gravitation, electromagnetics, and radiation all within predicted norms. Draft from the anomaly. Calling system operational. Yeah, we're not gonna see what the hell's on the other side in this chapter. We're gonna leave it for the next one. Fascinating. Here's the thing I don't understand. In the first two stories, all they've explained is the concept that there are there is another dimension. But this story, Donna's story, is the only one that there's actually a being from that dimension that actually alters time. Because he's not just sending people to that dimension, he's eliminating them from existence in this dimension. So whatever he sends to the other side gets eliminated. So that's like the weird part. Also, the stranger does have the ability to swap bodies, so... I don't know, I guess they, they're they just a whole bunch of beings with different powers on the other side or something. The next station is Cobbett Square. Let's keep going. Previously on Last Stop. She's resting now, but she is stable. I think I've made a terrible mistake. Jesus Christ! Donna, that's kidnapped! Stay here. I need to see what you've done. You made it all up. I think you actually saved me by not being here a moment ago. If you want my help, you only have to ask. Yeah, the sister. It was the sister that got eliminated. I couldn't see last time. It happened so quick. I... Roll reversals. Alright. I don't see one, two, three. Wait, what? Uh. 
What? What? I don't get it. I really don't get it now. Hmm. She's sleeping down here? Now this guy is just messing with us at this point. <laughs> Altering our lives, making us forget people. I bet I don't even know who the hell I am at this point, do I? Get up. To me like that. What time is it? It's almost 3 a.m. I don't even know who the hell I am at this point, do I? Since I've lost my mother and sister. It's the middle of the night. I can't just wait until the morning. No. It's time for us to leave. What are you talking about? Get dressed. We're going home. Your house near that chip shop? I don't have time for your questions. Get up. We're going. I'm pretty sure this is what he does to all his victims. Slowly he starts eliminating the people they care about from existence and their family. So at this point, she doesn't, she doesn't even know who the hell she is at this point, does she? Because if, if he eliminated his sister and his mom, she probably thinks she's an orphan. Yeah, she probably thinks she's an orphan at this point. She doesn't... Because she he doesn't just make the people disappear. All the memories go along with them. So she has no memories of her mother or her sister. At least I think I'm understanding this right. So she's like an empty husk right now. So everyone that was brought there was just an empty husk. I think. Oh wow, I just dug straight down, didn't you? Oh. Okay. There are all the people. Up oh, there's. Yep, yeah, there's everyone. One, two, three, four, five, six, you seven. Always were such a child. Eight. I wonder how many people would be better off if you weren't here. Why didn't you want to see me in the hospital? Donna, I lied. I was with Becky that night. We did it in the bathroom. <laughs> they seem to know me. Are those true? Oh my guy. Did Vic actually do it with Becky in the bathroom? <laughs> and that ends the chapter, doesn't it? I told you. Right? 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 Oh, shit. Oh, okay, it just jumps. Just jumps to the final chapter, huh? Interesting.